Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at FX and the euro currency down again. Uh, go back a few weeks, the euro currency was trading about a buck 24. Today we look at it at a buck 18. Now a lot has changed in those in those weeks. However, it's moved pretty pretty sharply now and there, it's starting to build momentum or actually it already has built momentum once it traded through the 200 day moving average. And we're kind of at that point where we're at the lowest below the 200 day moving average in over a year. So uh, things aren't looking good technically. We're holding at 118. I think 117 and a half will probably be the, the level that, that you may start to see some buying, if any, probably in the short covering form. But right now, technically, it's looking very bleak. Five month lows below the 200 day moving average and not a whole lot of positive news in sight, especially when you look over across the pond, see the dollar doing what it's been doing, which is continuing to show a lot of strength with Treasury yields on the rise again, kind of fighting that euro currency, which uh, has seen better days. So right now we're in a bearish move technical to the downside. What the ECB can do? Well, the ECB keeps talking about possibly tightening monetary policy conditions and necessarily raising rates. Uh, that has been their MO. If you look across the pond again, that was the Fed's MO. So they're kind of following suit. Uh, they want to continue to talk tough about the possibility of holding, uh, of taking, you know, stopping the, the, the stimulus, getting, taking maybe some of the buying out of the market. Uh, it, it looks like right now with a, at the threshold of, of one of the third largest economy on the brink of, of needing more write downs that that is probably not possible. Uh, and, and the mess that has just been the, the euro currency over the last several years, actually since the financial crisis, it's really now come to an end. So the ECB now talking is not really doing much to support the currency. They're going to need action. And how they do that, I think, is anybody's guess at this point. And we'll probably not see any sort of monetary policy changes that are that are relevant for some time, at least until they get out of the out of this mess. And where did this mess all come from? Well, look no further than Italy for this point. All their uh, all of their uh, bond issuances are at one year high yields. Uh, the spreads against the more calmer German bonds are, are getting to those widening levels. Now, if you look at it on a big picture, the Italian bond yields aren't necessarily spiking to new highs uh, that we haven't seen in years. However, they are moving quite a bit. And if they do, the, the political party, the five star party that wants to get the get these write downs in place, they'll probably take half of what they're asking. But again, you're getting something for nothing and you're kind of throwing, throwing, making, liquidating the, the currency itself. Uh, and, and that's no good for anybody. So until there's some resolution out of Italy, you've still got Brexit issues. How are they going to separate church and state there? And likewise, if they do get the bailout, if they do get a write down in Italy, who's next? Because you know that that, that line is probably not, not for one country only. There's probably some others lurking in the weeds that will likely look for something similar. Uh, and right now that's all going to be continuing to weigh in the euro currency. So unless we see some kind of resolution quickly or some kind of short covering rally, it looks to weigh heavy on the euro currency for the foreseeable future. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.